Go a little deeper. Sand on the outside of the line just a little bit so I can have some wiggle room. Nice press fit. Okay, pop quiz. How do you get this on here and make sure it's not crooked? So it's pointing straight up without doing any measuring. Put a shim here, however thick you want to get the distance. And then put a sheet down like this. It'll get you down further. And then just wiggle it around a little bit until it lines up and everything touches and then gently come off of it. Why 43 hertz? Why not? I explain what I think about frequency settings on my website if you're interested. Carefully put this guy down on there so it doesn't move when you tack weld it. Flip that over so it doesn't slip off. It just adds a little bit of weight to it. Hold it in place. For tack welds like this, you can just rest your cup down. It makes it a lot more steady so you're not shaking around. Okay, for the first part of this weld, I need to stand up to get in here. So, TIG button works real nice for that so you're not standing on one foot trying to run your foot pedal. There, now I can sit down. Stand it back up again.
recent videos, I had a couple people ask in the comments if I could make a video on weld restarts, how to tie them in nice. And that's on the website. I got a really good video with arc shots and it's, I think, a one or two paragraph description. All the educational stuff is on the website. From gas flow rate, tungsten type, diameter, shaping, what fill rod to use, what material I use. All the welder settings are explained. Everything's pretty detailed. So if you have any questions, please just, if it's not answered on the website, you can email me, but all the information's there. Thanks. I'm not sure how good this is gonna go. Let's see. Wait for it to snag and pop me in the rib. Getting there. Could make it a little more accurate by putting a guide up here, but it's just for hand railing on a friend's deck, so I think that'll be good enough. These angled ones are for going down the stairs.